Open Live 2D Cubism. Search for your PSD. If you don't know how to make one, I'll leave a link down below to Siege's video. Select your file and drag and drop it into Live 2D Cubism. Once your PSD file has loaded, select everything. You can do Control A or you can click and drag across the screen. Select Auto. Here you can choose whatever, but I usually choose Deformation Heavy because it has the most points and more points equal better quality and more smoother animation and rigging. But if I do that directly, for some reason, some of my parts on the PSD just disappear. So I have to go for a little first. Just waiting for it to look like a very spotty monster. Okay. Uh, this isn't really good for people like me with trypophobia, especially when you're working with it for the first time. You get used to it, I think. Select every part of the head, including the back hair. To do this, click on the head, hold down shift, scroll up and select the part at the very top. And then when going back down for the hair, hold control instead and select the parts that you need. Click on that when you're done. Then click and drag up from the neck and into the head. Congratulations, you have successfully added a rotation deformer. But wait, there's more. To move it around, hold control and drag it. Select a parameter of your choice for the head. Select the three key points and drag them to the left. Then take the very top of the rotation deformer Drag it to the left and position your head the way you want it. Then do the same with the right. When you're done with that parameter, select the body and drag up from the crotch into the torso, just like with the head. Then do the same process with the parameter for the head and set the three keyforms. For every single part of the body for basic rigging that rotates from side to side, you have to set three keyforms. The center is the default position, which would be like straight. Then the left, it turn to the left, and the right, it turn to the right. When you're done, you realize that, hey, when I move the body, the head doesn't move along with it. So to fix that, you press on the head rotation deformer, go for deformer root, and select the name of your body deformer. I have not named them yet. Please don't mind. Next thing we're going to do is limbs because they're important, specifically the arm. So we select the arm, like the shoulder and the hands, and you add the rotation deformer from the shoulder down to the forearms. Parameter, three points, boom. Move to the left, right, I don't even know what I'm saying. Just, just, just do what you did for the arm, head, torso, whatever.
Select the forearms and drag down from the elbow into the fingers. Then do the parameter shebang bang. I think you know by now. You just need to do the same for the rest of the body. The other arm at the back, the legs, the foot. And then to uh, parent them together, just click on the thing that you want to parent and then select the name of the thing you want to parent it to. So for example, you want to parent the forearm onto the shoulder and you click on the forearm rotation deformer and you go on deformer where the name id part and deformer panel is you click on the deformer you can already see root there and you scroll down to the name of the shoulder that you need and then yeah they are connected but usually when you do something like that like when you select both the arm the shoulder the forearm and everything when you add an extra deformer it's already connected so you don't need all of that done now when you're finished with all of this please do not take the leg deformers and attach them to the torso i don't know why i did this you can do that if you like if that's your style and you want to do that but i don't because like every time i try to animate and i rotate like the the character like every time i rotate the body the legs follow too and i can't really do like a straight walking animation or anything like that because the whole thing will turn okay this next part right here is my least favorite part of rigging i have to attach the legs to the body and it comes out spiky or wonky or something's wrong with it anyways so like this thing and rub it on top or just use your mouse and select and drag it when you have the leg selected and then click B. I just started using this tool, but click B and then like start moving them into place. Do this for both legs and slow down the video if you have to so you can get a better view of what I'm doing.
This next part I only really started doing recently, which is the breathing feature. And I got it from Siege YouTube's Discord server when I downloaded one of her templates. It was there. And basically you select the body and click on Warp Deformer. And it's right there. You only do two parameter key points this time because it's only two motions for the breathing. Drag your keyform to the second on the right. Edit the warp deformer. So drag it up a little bit like this. Make some little adjustments if you're not satisfied. Then select the two shoulder deformers and parent them onto the warp deformer of the torso. So when it breathes, the arms also move up so it looks more realistic. The best part, saving. You should be doing this as you're rigging because I've learned all too well that my laptop can play tricks on me. I could be getting to like the last part of rigging a model and then the whole thing just crashes and I lose all my progress from when I last saved. Whenever that happens, I just don't feel like doing anything anymore. I'm gonna give Nemesis the rest of her weave back and I usually create groups, so like a group for the face, the eye blinking, the uh, facial expressions, talking, stuff like that. Then the body, which is like the, just the basic rigging that we just did. And then the hair, which is the hair waving and movement. We're gonna get into that next time. But then I just select the one I want with like the click, control, shift, trick and I drag them into the folders. I don't really know how to change the color of the folders yet. I still need to figure that out. Cause yes, you can, you can make a whole rainbow, like a color scheme and stuff like that. So cool. I'm not one of those people who color codes for organization. I color code for pleasure. To create a group, just click on that um, yellow folder icon next to new parameter at the bottom, next to the trash icon. Yeah, then it'll give you a little main menu to name it. Congratulations, it seems you've made it this far. Your comments and emails always make my day, so I'd appreciate it if you could leave one and also leave a like while you're at it. So sorry for the procrastination. Thank you for joining me on this tutorial, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.